History with Jackson podcast. Hello and welcome to the History with Jackson podcast and welcome to the Catherine of Aragon Festival special series in partnership with Peterborough Cathedral and Peterborough Museum. Now this special series is looking and covering the Catherine of Aragon Festival. We will be speaking to some of the historians who are giving Tudor-focused talks and tours around Peterborough and Peterborough Cathedral. We will also be speaking to some of the amazing living historians who are reenacting parts of Catherine's life. This festival commemorates Catherine's amazing life from the 25th to the 29th of January 2024. And if you hear any part of this festival coverage, do try and get down to Peterborough Cathedral to experience some of the events that we are covering. All the information for the events will be in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this episode of the Catherine of Aragon Festival Special Series. So hello and welcome back to the History with Jackson podcast. In today's episode, we are introducing the Catherine of Aragon Festival, which is happening from the 25th to the 29th of January 2024. Now, this episode, I am joined by brand new History of Jackson team member, Abigail R. Williams. How are you doing, Abby? Hey, Jackson, how are you going? I'm oh, good. I'm, I'm glad to have you on board with the team and then helping out with the Catherine of Aragon, Aragon Festival. It's gonna be... I was going to say, it's so good to be back. We most recently did the end of year roundup History of Jackson, and that was a great episode, and I'm so glad to be back and working with you again. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have some help as well because this is going to be a hectic weekend now first i think before we introduce the catherine of aragon festival which i've already said is happening from the 25th to the 29th of january i think we need some context surrounding who catherine aragon is because a lot of this discussion around catherine aragon has been around popular history like six and and some of the work by alison Weir. so who is catherine so Catherine of Aragon is infamous in British and European history. She's the daughter of Isabella I of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon. And she is a very prominent figure in Spanish history. She was first married to um, Arthur, who was Henry VIII's older brother, but he unfortunately died five months after they were married. And as has gone down in history, she then married Henry VIII five months later. Um, well, not five months later. Arthur died five months later. And then she married Henry VIII. Um, and this is kind of the beginning of the not notoriety of Henry VIII, who Catherine in British history is famously linked to because after um, their union in 1509... <laughs> Um, so after she married Henry in 1509, she was obviously Queen of England and then we kind of had the tumultuous period in English history where the rivalry between Anne Boleyn and herself is kind of immortalised. She then went on after the um, annulment of her marriage to Henry VIII went on to be buried in Peterborough Cathedral, which is why the Catherine of Aragon Festival is held in joint partnership with the museum and also Peterborough Cathedral because of, you know, just her prominence in Peterborough culture, history and society. I think that's the... I think we, we're both from Peterborough and having grown up with this festival happening every year and being around the history and, and knowing so much about Catherine, it's really nice for us to be going to the festival as the official podcast partners and to be covering the life of someone who perhaps means more to us than people in every day in their normal everyday lives and interactions with history i think it's a it's a nice way to commemorate her life as well yeah and it's we've been really fortunate to be able to grow up with this cultural and historical historically significant part of english like heritage on our doorstep i think I can speak for myself and yourself in the fact that if we didn't have had this kind of foundational understanding of, oh my gosh, Catherine of Aragon's buried at our local cathedral, let's go on like school trips when we were in primary school, I don't think that love for history would have been quite as prominent as it is in our lives today. No, I think we both started off as, as Tudorists as well. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So. But 
what's going on at this festival, I think, is really going to foster the historical interest of a new generation mm, of historians, but also still maintain uh, the the focus and possibly and capture some more uh, history fans of, of different ages because the the program for the festival is is absolutely awesome. Now it's taking apart taking place at both Peterborough Cathedral, which is probably one of the, in my opinion one of the most beautiful cathedrals in the UK, if not Europe. And then it's also taking part at Peterborough Museum, where there is art galleries and that tracks the history of Peterborough through the millennium. So we've got Tudor tours, which um, are costume tours around the cathedral, but also Tudor tours around Peterborough, which I think are going to be pretty awesome to, to learn more about the history. Yeah, and they've also got tours that are going from Peterborough Museum, so... There's kind of different tours for every age range. And, and these are also accessible tours as well. Like they're, they're places you can everyone can take part on. And, and then there's going to be some, some awesome talks as well. So you've got Dr Owen Emerson giving his talk about Catherine and Anne at the, as part of the Cathedral's programme online. But then we also have Dr Anyeka Nubia talking about the cultural and social impact of Catherine of Aragon's reign on the Tudor dynasty. To have two world-renowned Tudor historians talking about some amazing nuanced um, discussions and topics allows the festival to cater not just for the casual history fan with the Tudor tours, but also those who are a little bit more interested in history to be able to listen to, to some more academic talks. And, and both of these historians are fantastic historians and have written some, some brilliant works on the period. I also think it's incredibly um, exciting that Peterborough and Peterborough Cathedral Museum have been able to have this connection with these historians who are creating a nuanced conversation because we all know about Catherine of Aragon, we all know about Henry VIII's Six Wives, like it is a very popular media at the moment. So having that nuanced take and understanding keeps their relevance alive and keeps people interested in them and I think that's really important. And I think they're also addressing those misconceptions in history as well, because by looking at Catherine and Anne's relationship, yeah. it's dispelling some of the perhaps misconceptions that we have about their two relationship. But also by looking at the social and cultural impact of Catherine coming to England, I think yeah. that's something that we often forget as well. She's she's from she's from uh, yeah. the Iberian Peninsula and bringing in that Castile and Aragonese culture as well. It, it again it adds that extra flavour and that dimension to her her historical legacy. And it's also really interesting when, and I'm sure we'll hear more about it from um, Dr. Owen Emerson when he discusses the rivalry between Catherine and Anne. But having both grown up on the European continent with Anne like frequenting French courts and obviously Catherine growing up in the Iberian Peninsula, it's interesting to see how their two very close quartered cultural and social understandings have made their way to English court, which still continental Europe, but a little bit f further proximity. But it's, it's, it's also interesting talking about that understanding, that religious life. Yeah. This is not just a historical festival. It's not just a history festival. You know, Catherine was a incredibly devout Catholic who took her relationship to God and her relationship to the church very seriously. And a lot of the events within this four-day period of looking at Catherine, five-day period even, yeah. uh, looking at Catherine, include religious events, but sometimes in the way that they would have been done in that time. Yeah, it's really interesting. So Peter Cathedral is putting on two um, events in their programme on the Friday the 20th, 7th, no, 6th of January, um, called the Vespers and Compine, Compline, and they're effectively two services that look to how the religious ceremony would have been done in the Tudor era, and are bringing that to a modern day audience, but while maintaining like the um, religious ceremonies that they want to uphold within the cathedral. And I think that's a nice way to, to commemorate Catherine and commemorate her life, but also at 11 o'clock on Friday the 26th of January, there is a commemoration service for Catherine as well, where wreaths were going to be laid on her tomb. 
and by not only by school children in the local area, but by visiting dignitaries as well. So being able to not only take part in some of the events and some of the religious aspects of Catherine's life, but also being able to pay your respects to a comm- in a commemorative service towards her is, I think it's probably one of the most unique historical festivals in the UK. Yeah, 100%. You don't get this anywhere else. And I think touching on the accessibility thing and looking at the way that we can interact with Catherine, people going to this festival can also interact with, in inverted commas, Catherine as well. Um, because we have, um, we have li- live or oh, living historians, um, historical reenactors who are dressing up as Catherine, Henry and the Tudor court. Um, so you can take part in those, those conversations that you would have wanted to have with Catherine or yeah. Henry yourself. Have you got any like burning questions that you want to ask about Catherine? Any scandalous details about her annulment? Um, you can go and ask her them. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to meeting Regal Rose, the historical portrayal uh, living history group and seeing what they put on on Saturday the 27th of January, because I think that's going to be an awesome event. I think kids are going to love it, but also yeah. um, also people who are interested in history just generally are going to enjoy that as well. 100%. I also think it's a nice ode to Catherine and life at court in the sense that the cathedral is also putting on some like arts and craft sessions for all ages of the family, but the one that's particularly... Um, standing out for me is the embroidery workshop because embroidery was such a massive part of the daily life of women in royal courts not just in England but across like the European continent so kind of engaging in those daily tasks and thinking about Catherine I think it's a really nice way to sit and sit on her legacy and think about everything she did as queen. Yeah, not just those, I think that's a really nice take on it, not just looking at Catherine's political and cultural impact, but also looking at her daily life, acknowledging the fact that Catherine Aragon was a woman who had interests and hobbies, and she just wasn't just the Queen. Yeah, she isn't just this political figure we can kind of dismiss as, oh, you know, Henry moved on to someone else, she was a, a real living person with feelings hobbies and interests and I think it's really nice that we're able to actually take a step back away from not just like the kind of heavy hard-hitting political religious cultural history but take a look at her day-to-day life yeah and I think that's a really nice point there but if you guys want to keep up to date with everything that's going to happen at the Catherine of Aragon Festival keep tuned on the History Jackson social media channels on Facebook Instagram occasionally X, maybe even TikTok, and you can watch You can watch these events, you can listen to us talk to people as well. We're going to have podcast episodes going out throughout the, the event. You're going to have videos going out discussing various parts of the history and talking to some of the people there. But um, yeah, and if you're in Peterborough, like come on down to the festival. It's going to be a really fun couple of days. Yeah, and you can come and meet us. Uh, we're going to be wearing our History Jackson stash, so you'll be able to see us and, and be able to pull us out as well. And also do keep an eye on Peterborough Cathedral and Peterborough Museum social media channels as well because there will be additional content going out there that they are sharing to to give you the information for the tickets. And if you want to buy tickets for the Catherine of Aragon Festival, some of the talks that are going on, the link will be in the description below for that so that you can buy some tickets for talks or tours that you want to do. But be quick because some of the tours are selling out already and you don't want to miss doing a fantastic Tudor history tour of the beautiful cathedral and the Peterborough city centre.